Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome to the latest episode of Pokemon Advanced Adventures. Uh, we're here to just collect things from the town, and hopefully we'll um, get to a level. But we just got the EXP share. Uh, obviously, we're playing this with a sort of like pushed version of Nuzlocke rules, because um, I don't have the balls to play Nuzlocke properly. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put the EXP share on Sergeant Awol. And talk to the old, old deer here. Um, yeah. I know what the tyrant Pokemon in this town is and I'm not looking forward to battling it. We picked up a great ball from there. Let's go into the museum and see what's going on. Please Johnny, save our town. Okay, is that it? What? Did I just go up some stairs that I didn't know were there? I'm sure I just went up some stairs that, uh, that aren't actually there. Oh well, um, yeah well I know uh, Ben's around here somewhere but I don't know whether we want to go and encounter him quite yet. You. I know what the rampaging Pokemon is, don't worry, but let's um, have one more go at this gym here. Let's have a go at this gym here. He's got a shrew mission to level 16, so let's have T1 Tear come in and leer it once. So obviously, he's got Mega Drain, which is obviously a grass type move. But we can quick attack it with the power of like a. well, a steel. Uh, creature. <laughs> but there, Sergeant Awol's up to level 7. Go back to the Pokemon Center. I've got to be uh, damn straight careful about losing Pokemon because obviously, with the Nuzlocke rule in effect, they actually die. Well, I pretend as if they did. So I don't want that to happen, do I now? Do I now, boy? No, sorry. I've got five Pokemon in my team at the moment, and. Obviously, Sergeant Awol is picking up a nice chunk of experience, yes. But this is a grass gym mainly, so a fire type would be fantastic. But that's not something we have now, is it? So We're not going to go after the gym leader quite yet, though. We're going to get our Pokemon up to a level that it can actually compete with Ben first. Um, we're gonna try and we're gonna get the most likely pick up the tyrant Pokemon from this town as our encounter for this town, and um, put it to use in our party. Sergeant so Awol learned self-destruct the move I am never going to use. Because if I do, Sergeant Sergeant Awol will die. That's Lieutenant Surge. But this is the Village of Grass. Okay. Let's go and fight Ben then. Or at least talk to him. Johnny! How did you get here? So what? You are going to defeat me? Ha! You're nothing but a poor little runt kid. He got his Eevee at level 16. Let's smash it in the head with a quick attack. Obviously, it's going for a tail whip. So one more smack from our uh, tyrant, and he's going to go down, isn't he? Sergeant A was up to level nine, and he's going to use a C dot. Now you want to be careful with this C dot by leering for a bit, just because it's going to use bide. Now you don't want to give it anything to throw back at you. So just use Leer for a couple of turns, drop its defense to like one, 
And then smack it with a quick attack. It's going to go for Harden. Follow up again. Down goes Cedar. And Nemesis Ben is going to use a Hoot Hoot. For this, I'm thinking Pikachu. Because of birds and them not liking to have their wings clipped by electri electricity. Obviously Pikachu static comes into effect there. Hoot Hoot not learning his lesson. He holds, he carries Hypnotize, Hypnosis, but won't use it. Oh. Or at least didn't. This is not the last time you will see me for now have fun trying to take down my subordinate and his Pokemon. Watch your back, Johnny. So this is the um It's a Tropia. It's a stone Tropia! Wow. Alright. Uh suit. Nope, the trophy is made of stone. Which means Pikachu's going to be no use against this fella. And he's got some grass moves, great. Um, can I hit him hard enough to stop me from dying to? For me, obviously, a, uh, a steel move would be fantastic right about now, but I don't have one of them. Um, let's use Xbox. Actually, yeah, let's use Xbox. Um, the Xbox can put it to sleep and then use Egg Barrage. Twist it with egg while it's sleeping. And of course, while it's asleep, it, I'll, have a, I'll have an extra opportunity. I'll have an extra um, percentage of catching as well. So I'm going to try and catch tyrants wherever possible. Let's go into uproar. Roar! <laughs> A grass stone would mean we could have an could have the evolved form of egg box. But unfortunately that's not something we have right now. Whoa, egg box, careful dude, you need to get out of there. Egg box, hypnosis. None of this grass moves are gonna work against egg box. Egg barrage! Throw a great ball. That's all I've got. <laughs> we caught a stone tropius. So uh, obviously I want it. To, you know, T1000 steel, like robotic, cybernetic. And this is rock. So um, I think um, I think Yanis. I think we call this Yanis. So our capture for this town, the village of grass, is Yanis. Is Yanis the tro Yanis the Yanis the Stone Tropius? Now the thing is, I know I saw Prof Lieutenant Surge in that gym, but I have my doubts that he's actually. The Lieutenant Surge that we know. I honestly think he might be like, well, a, a Lieutenant Surge that uses something else. Because otherwise it would be a little bit dumb for them to have Lieutenant Surge with his electric Pokemon in a town where there's a rock Pokemon freely available. Somehow that rubs me up as it might be a trap. It's a trap! I know, Admiral Akbar, I know. But I'm going to give it a go anyway. You best get lost, kid. You're biting up the wrong tree. Ben will never be taken down. 
He's the definition of evil! If you haven't noticed yet, the tyrant Pokemon that roams the cities are actually genetically modified by him. Pokemon are tools, and you will soon understand that! Do you understand me, maggot? This is Lieutenant Surge, and yeah, as uh, what a fucking surprise. Lieutenant Surge has Grass-type Pokemon. Great. That is going to be the biggest, the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. And they're so powerful, like, they might kill all of my Pokemon. Yeah, I am fucking excited about this battle. And I didn't buy any fucking potions. I am but I am boned. T1000, wake up, you lazy bastard. Oh, wow, T1000 nearly one-hitted that Bellsprout. That was really good. Oh, you one-hitted Bellsprout. Nice work. Magikarp gets 153 experience. He has a Grovile. Okay. At least quick attack hits first. I can probably bank on being able to knock him out with speed. Magikarp's up to level 10. He's got a Lilip. Now that's a rock Pokemon, isn't it? That would explain why um, that didn't do any damage. Let's try Pursuit. Yeah, that didn't do any damage either. Um, shit. Uh, Yanis, go! Yanis, use Leech Seed attack. I said Le- Yanis! Oh, bloody hell. I thought Lily was a rock Pokemon. Well, rock Throw seems to be doing damage, so I'm going to stick with it. So there we go, that's um, subordinate Lieutenant Surge with his grass Pokemon not knocked out. What? This cannot be possible! Maggot! This really hurts my throat. You may have defeated me, but you will never defeat Ben! Ha ha ha! Farewell, Johnny! You maggot! I like the idea that he fell through the floor, but he didn't. Now then, I would like a free item, please, Lieutenant Surge. Every gym leader is entitled... Well, by entitled... I believe they have to give me free things. But seemingly not. This gym doesn't want to give me a TM or anything. So frankly, screw you. Yeah, screw you, sir. Let's go back to the uh, Pokemon Center anyway. I have a really sore throat now. <laughs> and I've got to do a recording in a couple of hours. Great. <laughs> but, you know... Uh, I'm in this business for the wrong reasons. I don't want to get famous overnight. I want to get famous today. <laughs> no. Um, well, I'm going to buy six Pokeballs. Because everyone knows I like balls. No. I'm going to buy ten Potheon. I'm going to buy fifteen Potheon. That was one. I want to spend all of my money on Potheons. Because I don't want my Pokemon to die. I don't want my Pokemon to die. Might as well buy another Pokeball. No point in having money. It's not like I can bribe Ben to um, give up the Pokemon League or anything. He's evil. He's actually evil. Evil bastard. Anyway, um. so how the feck do we get out of here then? Can't fucking swim, can we? Uh, ah, to the left. To the right, sorry. Right, so above on the right. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Anything over here? Nope. Did we just cross onto a route? Yep, we're on route three. Oh, yeah, we caught. Um, we got Xbox here, didn't we? Xbox counts as our capture on this route. 
So we can't have a Roselia. Even if I wanted a Roselia. Which I don't. Magic Arbs up to level 11! He's only 9 levels from actually being useful! Yanus, throw, throw stones at birds! Because that's a good idea. And the RSPB are, are totally not going to bum me for that. Yanus, as I said before, throw stones at birds. The RSPB don't mind. Not all people watching the, the RSPB do in fact mind if you throw stones at birds. That's only a gag that works on the on, on people watching in the UK, by the way. But the RSPB are um, the Royal Society for the for, for the protection of birds. I uh, personally think they should be the RSPCB. I don't know, I just think it sounds better personally. I like the idea of societies being in place to prevent the cruelty of people of things and yeah. Anyway. What? Who's going to make a society? Uh, who's going to make the Royal Society the the Royal, the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Tom? Some of you commenters are fucking horrible little cunts, aren't you? Dear Jesus, what I would like for Christmas is some repels. Thank you, Tom. Dear Santa, for Christmas this year, I would like some repels, because I'm scared of pincers. Genuinely, I think if uh, Pokemon were real, pincer would be one of the scariest things in life. I mean, look at it. Thing's got teeth. Thing's face is made of teeth. Sorry, but... That's fucking scary! I'm with Rock Throw up as his major move. Even though I do think Rock Throw Pierce looks like he's made out of poo. Because they've made him sort of. They've made him, rather than being um, grey like Onyx, they've made him brown. So I genuinely do think um, Rock Throw Pierce looks like he's made out of poo. But. You know, if you have a habit of making things out of poo, you really need to see a doctor. So we're in a two-on-two -two battle here. Yanis and Pikachu have gone in. Yanis throws stones at that Nidoran, and Pikachu, pray to Christ, you can electrocute something. Yeah, you're terrible, Pikachu. Rock throw attack. One hit, KO, darling. And there's an Ardish here. Throw stones at the Ardish. Double attack on the uh, Shroomish next. Throw stones at it. School Kid Kirk. Hopefully his name is James T, but if it isn't, why not? Because he should be. He should be School Kid James T. Kirk. He really should. Now, she's sending out a need around female, so we're going to throw stones at it. Because, of course, that's what all 10-year-old all Pokemon trainers should do, throw stones at things. It worked really well for Ash Ketch and that terrible Pokemon trainer that he is. Although he did win the series against me. In which Ash Ketchum was played by my good friend Smurf at AGB. Who I miss working with. But our schedules can't our schedules don't match up at the moment, so we can't work together on any projects. As sad as that makes me. Which is very sad! But I miss my friends. Yay, there's a fat man here. He's a trainer. He says battle me a lot. Oh, it's um, Pokemaniac Keith. 
And he's got a needer and female because he totally wasn't having sex with it or anything. So let's use leech seed attack on it. Because we've actually run out of rock throws. Which is up there on great achievements in my Pokemon fighting career. T1000! Go! I don't know why anybody has got any excuse ever not to not to just use the fucking Tyrant Pokemon. Seriously, T1000 is a tank, and so is um, and so is Stone Tropius, my um, Yanus, Yanus, my Stone Tropius. Magikarp's only in the party because he's a capture from a route, and I'm entitled to have him there. I know what's coming as well, and I know, I know I'm not going to be keeping him around for long, but he's in the party, and he might as well be in the party as a, as a Pokemon that can do battle should I need him to. But in comes, in comes the, T, T, the T1000. Terminator T1000, my Zangoose. I want to try and get to some sort of a town so that I can stop, but... I don't know whether we're going to get anywhere. I mean, where is what should be Cerulean City? Or, I don't know, is it a village, a village of penis or something? I don't know why my recording device tried to cut out then, but... Wild Pincer! Because that's because that's novel. Yeah, that's novel. Um, Right, so because you can't actually do battle at the moment, because you don't have any moves, Janice, you may as well swap the T1 there. We're on Route 4! We are on Route 4, which means we are entitled to capture. So, on this route we can catch something. Hopefully not some sort of an STI or anything, but... There's a copper. Johnny, you truly are a hero. Please go forth and take this. TM19. TM19. Bloody hell, he's just giving us Giga Drain! Well, technically, Linking Cavern is its own place. So, I'm going to go out of there and see if I can catch anything on this route. Is there any grass on this route? Or um, a pond? Or uh... No, there actually isn't. Is that grass technically on this route? No, it's, uh, it's technically a part of Route 3. So I can't catch anything in there. So at the moment I am still entitled to capture on Route 4. But I don't have the ability to initiate a capture on Route 4 right now. But I'm going to stop it off here in the Linking Cavern. In the next episode we'll head through the Linking Cavern. We'll catch something in the Linking Cavern. Hope probably a Zubat. Call it Bitey. Because we've got a good friend who likes Zubat's called Bitey. Uh, but we'll be back in the next episode. And see you guys then. Goodbye. Well hello there everybody. And welcome to the latest episode of Pokemon Advanced Adventures. Uh, we're here to just collect things from town. And hopefully we'll um, get to a level. But we've just got the EXP share. Uh, obviously, we're playing this with a sort of like pushed version of Nuzlocke rules because um, I don't have the balls to play Nuzlocke properly. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put the EXP one. Obviously, it's got Mega Drain, which is obviously a grass type move. But we can quick attack it with the power of like a, well, a steel. Uh, creature. <laughs> but there, Sergeant A wasn't for level 7. Let's go back to the Pokemon Center. I've got to be uh, damn straight careful about losing Pokemon because... Yeah, well, I know uh, Ben's around here somewhere, but I don't know whether we want to go and encounter him quite yet. You. You. 
I know what the rampaging Pokemon is, don't worry, but let's um have one more go at this gym here. Don't go at this gym here. He's got a screw mission to level 16, so let's have T1 Tao come in and Leary. Okay. Is that it? What? Did I just go up some stairs? That I didn't know were there. I'm sure I just went up some stairs that, uh, that aren't actually there. Oh well, um, B share on Sergeant AWOL. And talk to the old, old deer here. Um, yeah. I know what the tyrant Pokemon in this town is, and I'm not looking forward to battling it. We picked up a great ball from there. Let's go into the museum and see what's going on. Please, Johnny, save our town. 